Hey everybody, we're looking at another MIDI topic today. This is one of those things that I use when I'm recording MIDI quite a bit. There's a few that I've talked about in the past. One of them is capture recording. Using time stretch is something that we can do to allow us to play something slower and then to then speed it up after the fact. Or we can take anything we've recorded and just change how quickly or how slowly it plays back. Now you might be asking why not use something like Vera Speed for this or change the overall project tempo and you can. You can actually use those to do a similar thing but a lot of times I like to have the project going in at full speed because you have the overall sound. It's just that I can't play the part full speed and so I want to be able to kind of mix and match. So here's the concept. I'm going to record this piano part. And so I just did that amount just for the sake of a demonstration. If you hold down the option key, now you can actually move this in and it's going to allow me to double the speed of it. Or we could even double it again. We don't need to do that. Then I can just loop this out. From there, if we wanted to, because it actually changes harmony parts, we could relatively easily come through here. I'm going to say no transpose on the drums and the bass, and then for this particular piano, let's add a transposition for this. So at that section right here, and then at this section right here, and actually one right in the middle there. So then we're going up a fourth for the first one. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five semitones, and then we're going to go up seven for the fifth. And so all of that without actually being able to play piano. Now, the one thing about this is because I'm doing the screen capture with screen flow, the way that they have their audio drivers, it's impossible to get it really low latency. So I think that the performance actually suffered because of that. The good news is that we can just match this up with the drum track, set that as the groove master and just have the piano follow it. And if we wanted to do that, the faster tempo, the super fast one, just have to make that one change with the stretch tool and everything else is still in place. And it turns into a little bit of a polka because of the groove track. So if I really wanted to still have it more match, what I would do is choose the track have this go on to quantize. And so you can see how easy it is in this paradigm of working with MIDI to make some of these changes and have this all mapped out. So the original was that. And we can just move this around and adapt it how we want. Okay, so this has just been a quick look at the stretch tool and some of the tools that we use around this. I hope you're enjoying this new look at some of the MIDI functionality of Logic. Uh, let me know in the comments if this is something you're interested in me continuing, if you even made it this far in the video. But if you have, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. We'll be doing more of these videos, maybe one more over the weekend and then a few more next week as we really start to build out some of these MIDI-focused videos. Okay, hope you're having a great week. Hope you enjoy your upcoming weekend, and I will talk to you soon.